baby sister, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, yeah, I've been joining you down since it's over two hours now. Because you believe and you will see. It's not possible to be happy without belief. It is belief that leads to happiness. You believe, that is why you are happy. Because you believe, you dance. Because you believe, you sit today. Hallelujah. They was all over the world. I want to talk to you. Let me talk to you. Viewers, also under the bondage, dominion of Satan and all his sickness, disease, receive freedom in the name of Jesus. Viewers, wherever you are, Whatever you are doing at this moment, are you on the sick bed? Listen, also under the bondage, dominion of Satan, I mean demon, and all his sickness, disease, Shed bad disappointment. Receive freedom in the name of Jesus. 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 Be delivered. Be delivered. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. In the name of Jesus. I believe. I say I believe. I believe. You will see. Yeah. Thank you. I want I want them to begin to see before they will join us. And those who are sick among them, there are many that are really under the dominion of Jimo. Right now I know as after that prayer, freedom, 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 freedom. Thank you, Jesus. I can see you being set free. I say I can see you being set free. I say I can see you. I repeat because I know what I'm saying. I can see you being set free. I can see you being delivered. You know, it's a thing of the spirit. Before you know, I will know before. It's has to do with our level in the spirit. I can see you being set free. Not that you will not know. You will know, but I need to know before you. Because of my position, yes. I can see. Before you, I can see you being set free. That, that, will, that will help your faith. Now, that will really help your faith because by now you, you have not seen, maybe probably some of you have not seen that you have been set free. You are still waiting for prayer. But now I'm telling you, because I, I'm telling you, I've seen you being set free already. <laughs> are, you, are you with me? Can, can you hear me? is not normal. I know you too, you are not normal. Because you cannot come here ordinarily. If you are, you cannot be here ordinarily. 
Yes, yeah, I can see. I can see. Thank you. I can see. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yes, we continue today. I have some revelation for you, all of you. Because I know I'm talking to the whole, the whole world. But there are many flags, different flags. I have a revelation for all, all you. And uh, as we take a step, it's, the answer is prayer. We pray. We pray to cancel. We pray to receive. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you have uh, actually played your role, some role. For you to be dancing this morning and forget that challenges. Oh my God. I salute your faith. Amen. I'm, are you with me? Yeah. You know, many are here with a, 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 a huge of debt. It's huge of debt. And some are here, someone borrow or given them some money as a flight ticket or a ticket to come here. They are down. Many are down. Many with sickness, disease. But suddenly for the past three hours now, you can't say, you can't even differentiate the sick, those who are sick, and those who are really free from sickness. I mean, with what you are saying this morning, can you tell me who, has, who is sick among you? Can you tell me who is poor? Who, can you tell me who is facing any challenges? Everyone has been dancing. That is to show you that, uh, look, there's finger of God. Yes. So this is exactly the picture of your future. The picture of what is about to come. What is about to come is what you have demonstrated. You have demonstrated exactly what is about to come. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the blessing of God demands for joy and faith. When you are about to meet God, you have to meet him with joy. We don't meet God with sadness. When you are sad and you begin to move it towards, no, it's not God. That is not God. That is not God. In him, there is no sadness. What we are complaining, in him, there is no situation you are complaining. It's as a result of our what? Lapses. In him, there is no that challenge we are talking about. In him, the disease, the sickness, the challenge, the poverty, in him, there is nothing like that. You just need to see the image, what God says you are. You just need to know. You just need to say, see by yourself what God says you are. If you see what God says you are, you will know you are a different person, different from what God, what God says you are. Are you with me? If you see what God says you are, you will know that there is difference between you and what God says you are. Can you, you are there. If you are able to see what God says you have, there is difference between what God says you have and what you have now. Oh my God. Are you there? What God says you can do, if you are able to see what God says you can do, there is difference between what God says you can do and what you are doing. That is why there is no cause for pride. If one is very pride, proud, you see him very arrogant, you say, ah, you, are not, you have not achieved what God says you have. 
or uh, what you can do you are underrate what God say what you can do and you are proud arrogant Check that out. I want to listen to a testimony of a marriage couple. And uh, I realize if I'm not here, they will not be able to put an end to the issue. And uh, some other, we have 15 more people that are waiting. We will not be able to go beyond that marriage couple. After that, we move forward. But take note of this message that what God says you are is different from what you are now. That's different. What God says you have is different. That's different between what you have and what God says you have. What God says you can do is quite different from what you are doing now. So when you say this, you know, ah, what is wrong? Yes, something is wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now, you just write it, we continue. God loves you so much. We have many on the streets that are supposed to be in palace, but they are on the streets. Are you, are you with me? I say there are some people on the streets they are supposed to be in the palace. Supposed to be in palace. There are some people also that people that pray for you. You are supposed to you are supposed to pray for them, but they are the one praying for you. Because of the name prophet, bishop, archbishop, evangelist. That title is a title. You are supposed to pray for them, but they are the one praying for you. Because you don't know whom you are. I repeat again. I think this is a good example for you. Because you don't know whom you are. What God says you are is different from what you are. Many here that are supposed to be praying, those whom you are supposed to pray for, they are the one praying for you because of just mere title. Okay. How would that help the future? or your vision killing the, your vision killing your, your mission in the same way many are being said today and they are supposed to be the one to feed. Where are we going?
when if you are taking a wrong route you can never get to your destination until you discover your route tell your neighbor if you are taking a, diff, a, a wrong route you can never get to your destination until you discover your route that is way this is where I'm supposed to follow if I follow it I will get to where I'm going but I'm, I'm following this way I can never get to where I'm going this is the problem of many of us here today So if there's any challenges, it's not your, the problem you have. But am I in the wrong route or the right route? What is holding you? Challenge is a normal thing. Sickness is normal. Disease is normal. Disappointment is normal. It's a way of life. You get over it. Said bar is normal. So far, you get out of it, get over it. It is it's part of our way. Our way, everyday life. It's normal. Persecution is normal. It's a way of life. If you are living a life and there is no persecution, no sickness, no disease, you have to ask yourself, where well, you are not, you are not noticed. No one is noticed you. You are not nobody. When you become somebody and you have not become that somebody, but today you are nobody, but you are you in your future tomorrow you are going to be somebody persecution crisis and whatever because people that have seen where you are going they will do anything to stop you and the only thing they can do is to frustrate you disturb you causing hindrance causing you pain so that you can abandon your post It's a way of life. It's normal. We don't say the man is sick because he's a sinner. No. One can be sick and yet a friend of God. So it's sick. It's as a sort of a sin. That is how you know sinner. You know sinner by the challenge their challenges. Is uh, it's a sinner. The business failure uh, is a sinner. The man fail uh, is a sinner. The man is sick, is about to die. Uh, he has committed sin. Divorce, marriage, uh, sinner. He has committed sin. The man own debt, the business collapse oh, as a sort of sin. This is how you know sinner today in the world. No! You cannot get out of, get over sin. When you are hit by what you call sin, you, you are hit finally, that is the end. But to Christian today, the people of God, those things are the soil in which their faith flourish. This 
this is to tell you that look it is not every sickness that as a result of sin you as a child of God you have given your life to Jesus you are born again and maybe next time we did we, we we have to define the the word born again because it's an abusive word today people seems not to actually know what it means to be born again to be taken from dark kingdom to the lights people don't know the procedure what it takes to be taken out of the dark to the light kingdom of life When you are born again and you are truly born again the day you are born again sin I mean sickness because there is nothing we there's not there's nothing like sin once you are born again because nothing can stop you trouble will come whatever you call sin which I regard as a mistake error you get over it and will strengthen your desire and your determination for God We call it stronger. That will be stronger, but that stronger will make you stronger. Amen. Are you are you with me? That will be what? Stronger. We call it stronger. What what the situation or mistake that come your way when you are born again we call it struggle but that struggle will make you stronger it's like character being tested a goal in the furnace when a gold is in the furnace it will remove impurities and then when impurity is removed you see shiny gold are you are you there when gold is in the furnace fire it will be there to remove what impurity that is things you chemists physicists you know those things that being removed from the so this is just the situation you are when you are going through what we call persecution temptation tribulation it's like you are in the furnace you are go in the furnace to remove all impurities to make you shine more shine better better will go through it and come out best are you a christian yes you are good your good christian will go through that furnace and come out best better again in the future your better will go through the furnace and come out best that is what you are going through
your stage as a Christian, good Christian, good Christian. That is deep, deeper, deepest at your stage. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, genuinely, you step into deep Christian. Now, tribulation, persecution, temptation will come. These are funny, furnace, fire. And your good will enter and begin to struggle and struggle and struggle. And that struggle will now become stronger, better, deeper. You become, come out of all this, become deeper Christian. And that deeper again, the higher persecution, tribulation, temptation, it could be, this temptation could be failure in business, could be sickness, could be whatever, and you, it's a struggle. You come out of that fire furnace, you're better. Come out, your best come out, you better enter and come out with best. So this is the stage of things. Hallelujah. Amen. It's normal. If you are not a Christian, where? <laughs> it will impair, those things will impair you, will destroy you, will cost you your life. Because of the relationship you have with Jesus, that relationship is a covenant and he will not leave you once you have that relationship it will always aware of where you go what you are doing what is coming your way and will try to be there to see you through but if there's no relationship where you know your power cannot help you you have no power to help to get you out of this so this is like others, they end their life, it cost them, them their life, cost them, well just mention. So your struggle is not like others. So therefore, please, I, I'm happy when I, 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 I saw you dancing, tribulating, and I, in that, I was looking at those who are even in pain, trouble but they were dancing to really show that they believe and I want to congratulate you once again yeah. hallelujah thank you so please let's watch the professor of this family so we can move forward mm -hmm. okay. I'm looking at you. Let's come. I'm looking at you. Have you have no air? You have problem with your wife. Quand tu as dit que ta femme t'a mordu, tu des problèmes avec ta femme. You know we are here for deliverance, and God loves us too much. Can I see the hand? La prophétie dit que sa femme l'a mordu. Bien pantalla, las mordidas. El profeta ha dicho que su esposa le muerde. Usted ve la pantalla de brazo. Jesus love you. Jesus le ama. Let's let's see, let's let's see, let's see the family, please. Let's see I want to assure you, Satan is a liar. I want to join your family. Thank you. All of God help me invite my wife because she said that you are the only one who can invite her. Help me invite her. Who said that? My wife. Oh, glory be to God. If you respect the, the grace in my life, so you don't have problem there. Thank you. So I will do property to invite her. Thank you. Thank you.
I want to let me greet my sister for the word your husband said. That he who honor a prophet because he's a prophet shall receive prophet reward. He said, Pastor is the only one that can invite her. Thank you very much. Finally, you are here. Thank you. Good morning, church. My name is Lebeno Sespan. I'm a businessman, General Gus. Well, last week, Sunday, this prophecy came in. There is a gentleman, the wife bites him, and I come up. Man of God said, come up, I will help you. The prophecy was truth, 100% truth. Um, I married... Okay, since I marry, we are having problems. What is the cause of the problem? The cause of the problem is that my wife can never agree with me. Anything I ask her to do, first of all, their mother must be aware of it before doing it. I begin to wonder. Then I ask her, are you marrying your mother or me? The answer is not answered. Okay, we keep going. Even though when I marry her, I'm taking care of everybody, both the family and both my family. Please, just point to notice, please, for one second. Camera, please come. I want you to watch something on the screen. And this, a man is doing something that really I want to encourage the whole world. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you just do what you are doing now? Put it on the screen. Please, at the table, you are covering me. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Please, thank you. Can you see? This is... Every second I've been watching here since I've been talking, we have finished two bottles. <laughs> since I enter here and I turn my face there is the within a second. When I talk, when I talk, look. There is no better medicine than this. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor again. I can't hear you. Brother, continue doing. Let's let's continue our talk. Again. There is no all this spanakor, uh, uh, lumps, kidney problems. Headache, hypertension, diabetes, this, that, that, I give you just two weeks. Food you are eating cannot, cannot give you anything. It's only you are hungry and you eat, that is all. If you ask this man now, since money has been taken, what all of that? And you have the opportunity to take, please, please, listen, it's not an issue of joking. I just want to draw your attention to that. You eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, it cannot. This, there is no better medicine. All this fat, trouble in your life, headache, depression, a potential blood pressure you need to try overhauling you 
you know water takes 65 percent in our in our body complete your body your life water is 65 percent the remaining 45 is something else but water you take blood no no water take 65 percent Sixty-five percent of your life, of your body. You know there are many things in your body, but water takes sixty-five. Minus sixty-five from hundred percent. Today, when you ask many people here today, they can eat anything. They will eat. It is when they want to eat, they drink water. And when they want to drink water, they will drink cold one very very cold to destroy your kidney to destroy your life your blood will turn to yellow destroy your life if you take cold water it has you are destroying yourself it cannot give you the result we are talking about it is when they want to eat this man is not taking this water because it's thirsty it's not thirsty it's not taking this water because it's hungry it's not it's taking it as medicine you should take water as medicine tell your neighbor tell your neighbor you know when you want to take a medicine like tablet you take it under the rail under force no one is is admired to take draw even when you put it in your mouth you will not want it to stay in your lips in your tongue because of taste you want quickly drop it inside your if you don't take water as medicine it cannot work in your system don't take it because you are thirsty because you need to drink water you want you want to when you are eating no 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 take it as medicine this is that put it on the screen again that's it brother he has finished three, three. Put it in your mouth. Chili bottle today. Or four. Uh, he has finished that one. Another one. When you start from beginning, at beginning when you start, you will be frustrated because you'll be going to restroom. Restroom. Even if care is not taken, you will wet your body. Don't worry, it's not diabetes. Because many of you say, ah, what man of God asked me to take up? Thank you. Don't mind them. M many say, what man of God asked me to take has turned to diabetes now. I cannot sleep in the night. I cannot sleep in the No. At the beginning, it just like that. You begin to go to the toilet, go to the toilet, go to the toilet. You can go to the toilet 20 times at the beginning. But after one month, you, your system will get to you to, to it. Get used to it. After one more, two more, depend on your system. First, your system will reject it at the beginning. When you start today, your system will reject it. Do you know what will happen? First, you start seeing your leg swell up. Your leg here. Yeah. You will begin to swell up. Swell up. Because your system will reject it at the beginning. You will think that is not good. Don't be afraid. Continue to take it. Continue to take it. Continue to take it. Continue to take it. Until your system will get used to it. In a week, two weeks, your system will get used to it. You see, when you, let me tell you, when you drop a water in a tap that block, what will happen? A tap. In a, you know, you want to fill a tap through, you want to fill a drum through tap. And the, that, that trap has been there for long and it blocks. What will happen when you drop water? It will come back. It will go wrong place. Instead of going, it will go wrong place. That is a many veins in your system has been blocked. I check again. Vein, you know, vein. Many of these veins have been blocked. It need to be flushed out. When you start this water therapy, first we 
you will find as if when you are drinking it, the water will come back in your nose. It, sometimes when you take it, you see your legs swell up. Sometimes you see here, swell up. And you start going to the toilet, going to the toilet because the vein has been blocked and the water is going to wrong places, wrong places in your system. But when you persistent, taking it, taking it, force yourself to take it, the vein will open and the water will go to the right places. So applaud for my brothers. So please. You have opportunity, you need that bottle. At least before the end of the service, two to three. You must get used to it. When you live here, when you go to work, inside your vehicle while you are driving, little time, you take a shh. Before you get to where you are going, even inside the plane, you fly from here to South Africa, you are supposed to finish two bottles inside the plane. You don't need food there. What kind of food would they give you? Well, the, the food you demand for may not be available. Okay, take the sort of water. On the air, you can finish two bottles before you get down. And sleep. It's the best medicine. How, will you, how, how can you replace the sweat? That is going through your life now. You sweat and sweat, go to toilet, go to toilet. How do you replace them? You can't replace them. The water you take when you are thirsty is not enough to replace the sweat that is coming out of your system, to replace the urine that is coming out of your system. It's not enough. When you are thirsty, you can't drink enough to replace the sweat. Do me a favor, I will stop so that we can listen to our, our mommy, our dad. Do me one favor. From tomorrow morning, when you wake up in the morning, get a bowl. Drop your urine, your feces there. If you can capture your urine throughout from morning to night, you will know the quantity of water. We are not talking of sweats. Just urine, feces. You need to know the quantity of urine that's coming out of you. When you know it from morning to night, you know how important you need to take water. Yes, do that favor for me tomorrow. Very early morning, in the midnight, when you wake up in the midnight to, to, for, to, to, to for feces, to, to the toilet, don't waste it, just put it in. Continue to urinate in a bowl, 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 bowl. Make sure you keep it till night so that you can see the quantity of urine, the water that is coming out of you. When you now see, you need to ask yourself, what is replacement? How do I replace this or this that coming out of me? When I'm thirsty, the water I'm taking, is this actually enough to replace all this thing? It's not enough. This is the cause of headache, hypertension, all this kind of sickness you are having, necessary sickness. So thank you very much. My brother, thank you. And I want to thank my brother there. Thank you. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. I've been studying you since I entered the crowd. Yes. So, my name is Fine Livinus from Anambra. I'm a businessman dealing on general goods. Uh, last week, I was when the prophecy of man of God came in, the man of God said, there is gentleman there, their wife bites him, please come out. And the, 
when I come out and the man of God said, don't worry, I will help you. The prophecy was 100% correct. Now, this is my wife. We wedded for past 16 years ago. And I'm the one who took her to school to become a graduate. And the, after finished the graduate, become a graduate, I asked her, what do you want to do? She said, she wants to stay with me in my office. I said, okay, no problem. Now, I said, as far as you decide to make up your mind, let me hand everything over to you. And she starts staying with me. At that time, the confusion started coming. When their mother saw one, any of their friends in the market uh, traveling, she, she come to her and tell her that this person travel. Then it become confused. I told my wife, if you are not ready to, uh, if you are not ready to take care of this goose, because I'm always traveling and they hand everything over to you. If you're not ready, not ready to travel, I can easily forget about this goods you people are selling here and face your other business. Because I can't travel, you travel. And meanwhile, you're still a nurse baby. Because their last baby now is a year, a year and. <laughs> because of time, brother, can you just get us some of that? We just. Uh -huh. Okay, how she bites me, this thing become a problem in the house. That every time I'm all travel, I'm all travel. And uh, I, I begin the, I, I begin the thing, please, have patience, let's finish what we have in hand. Like you, there is a, a, a building, a plaza we want to finish. When we finish this building, you can take a by two shop and the, you, you start managing. Anything you want to do, you do. He said she cannot do it. Every day she will come and collaborate with their mother, start calling, discussing. Start discussing. Okay. Now, the issue of this uh, bite now, she, one evening like that, she came back late and I asked her, Where are you coming from? She said that, I, I, Why should I ask her such question? Okay, can you help me, sir, summarize the exact thing that my my sister is doing that is not helping the marriage that is causing you pain okay just summarize the, the thing causing me pain number one as a mother of family my wife will stay in room like this a room like this lock the door where their children is praying she can't come out that is the most painful thing in me you, you say what my wife will stay in that place in a room and the, 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 here is Fala, with the playing general player, she can't come out. Okay, your wife will be inside the room. Yes. And uh, what will happen? Uh -huh. so there are children with, with, with the family prayer, we, we are praying, she can't come out. That is the one greatest thing that pay you, have it? It's the one, one of my greatest... What other again? Yeah, another one. If I tell her, let's come together, we discuss our, about our family, she can't come close to me. Okay. Another thing, anything I tell her, she, more, she can never agree with me unless their mother is aware of the matter. Okay, that's all. So, so please, man of God, I need that before you. I need ah, you to yeah. my that is, This is why I don't want to wear I want you to tie jeans. This tie jeans does not allow me to... Oh my God, my jeans is too tight. Please, you <laughs> I don't want to wear this tight thing. I came out before I knew that it's too tight. I want to be free. Don't be please. on your knee for me. Please, man of God, I need peace in my family, please. Okay, so right. Madam, you listen to what my, my brother is saying now. It's a, a kind of no charlatan attitude. Don't care, I don't care. You don't bother the children, you always see inside the room and the children will be working. You, you are not taking care of the home. And please, please, you know every one of us has limitation. Do we have anyone that does not have limitation here? Ah, uh, limitation means 
where you are weak, where you need help, you cannot do it alone. You cannot do it on your own. Uh, limitation. Yes, everyone, every one of us here has a limitation. So please, when you hear one a person limitation, you think about your own limitation. That does not cause. <laughs> Huh? Please, if I were you, it is time for lesson. It is time for wisdom. It is time for experience. You listen, you catch your own experience. Do you have experience to learn from what is happening? So, my brother said, you that kind of relationship, husband and wife, is not there. That kind of look and warm, I mean. You have listened to what she said. You want to talk? Yes. So, because I have something to say. Okay, thank you. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Oge Chukwe Fan. I was at my home on Sunday. Somebody called me, one of my friends. I saw my husband uh, on Emmanuel TV. Man of God was prophesying to him. Because that day, there, there, it was raining heavily on our side, so there was lightning. So we were not getting the television very clearly. So I now quickly rushed to the parlor. That time the rain had stopped, I owned the tell. I was watching, I watched the last part. And that was my greatest wish, is to meet man of God. Because I want God to intervene in this case. My own personal effort has failed me. I want God to manifest his strength. Clap for her. Mm. It's his own personal effort has failed. Making me, he has making an attempt to bring the consolation to come together, but he says he has failed. He wants God to intervene. That is good, good talk. If I'm right, I say good talk. Well, let's listen. So the prophecy man of God gave my husband is very, very true. Really, I bite him. That bite was a self-defense bite. Look, look at my brother. My brother is looking at you. <laughs> Camera, why can't you drop and close, white and close? Self-defense. <laughs> give him my... Yes, sir. Why? Why do you say self defense? He always beat me at home. Are you? With no reason at all. That's self defense by? Yes. Uh huh. So I know if, that, if, man, if God has said through man of God that there is a man here womanizing or maltreating your wife, my husband will never come out. Eh? <laughs> No, Don't spoil my reconciliation. <laughs> no, this woman, don't spoil my reconciliation. Yeah. What kind of comedian is he? Look at what he said. I never said that. <laughs> oh my People God. People of God, you know, God speaks to us. In the languages, we will understand. He knows our hearts, and he knows how to talk to us. So that was the only language God used to talk to my husband that Which day. Which language? Which language? That, that your wife bites you. <laughs> they now rush out. Thus, where are you a translator? No, I, man of God. Where are you translating God's wisdom? How come? Man of God is through my own understanding and little experience. So you mean that is the language God wanted to use, Abi? Yes. Okay. Sir. What is the meaning of that language? There's a woman here. 
there, there's a man here that the wife buy the right or left hand. Okay, what is the meaning of that to you? So if God had used other languages, it wouldn't have come out. Which language? If God said there is a man here womanizing or maltreating your wife, he will never, never come out. <laughs> you are seeing here by the grace of God money is not our problem we can afford to feed ourselves and feed our neighbor but when God gave you blessing and that blessing begin, you begin to control you instead of you controlling that blessing it become a problem that was what happened in our own case my husband they have group of friends I never knew that men, they can do a shabby and clubbing more than women. They party a lot. They go about carrying on. Madam, wait. wait. Don't use uh, this medium to express your feeling. I will still see you people one on one. I, I just want what the law said a reply for that when i see you one-on-one -on -one, you have many things to tell me let that one be when we are meeting privately because whatever we do here now it will still be followed by the consolation in the office i will after this meeting i'm still, I'm, 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 I'm still meeting you people at the office so those are the things you will discuss okay so and I, now with the institution of China, I think I let him take the matter up. You bite your husband. Yes, sir. You call it defend. Yes, sir. What are you trying to defend? That he always beat me. This beating is not even. In fact, there, there was an incident. I took my children to lab. He was coming back from travel, from abroad. He didn't even tell me that he's coming back, so that he will come back home and cut me and my boyfriends. That was what he was thinking in his mind. So, when we are coming back, he was telling me... How, how do you know that that was the thought in his mind? That is, even in the house, everybody around, he suspects me and that person. What remains is for him to change me. I don't go out. I don't greet people. Even to, to go out is a problem. Okay, it's all right. It is the way your husband express the love he has for you. <laughs> so, a woman you don't love, you will not care or mind whether she go out or not. Because she loves you, these are the reasons why we are here today to cancel ourselves. That it is the God that monitoring people, not we. If you try to monitor a human being, you, we are deceiving ourselves. But it's a way of expressing that kind of kind of love. The love he has for you is not ordinary. Okay, that is why he's trying to monitor you, but which is not a proper way anyway. But it's not out of hatred, but out of love. That monetary. If you monitor you, try to monitor you, he doesn't want you to talk to people, or they, me, he loves you so much. So much. Compared to any other person outside there, he sees you the best. That is why he's doing that. Okay. Now, it's, a, it's not the proper way to do it. This is the area we want to talk about. We can see reason why you you don't you don't take care of the home. You just show unconcerning to the children. When your husband call you, you don't mind because of what you you are saying now. Okay, which we still need to confirm. But but whatever the matter, no matter what you 
what happened. One thing that is still clear to me, which God told me, this is a marriage from God. Listen. No matter what your husband or what you must have done to destroy this marriage or to make this marriage or to... This is marriage from God. And if you separate this marriage, he will suffer and you will suffer. You will never have this kind of relationship you are enjoying. So whatever happened now, let us repair this marriage. Let us come to reconciliation table. Let us discuss how we can live together. When you know that you have, you have the best, mean if you now live the best, you are going to better. And if you live the better, you are going to good. And if you live the good, you go to bad. But now you have the best. Is this not better marriage? This is not good marriage. It's best marriage because it's from God. Whatever happened, whatever that is happening concerning, oh, oh, I mean, it's God own marriage. So we have to come together now and receive deliverance and make this marriage enjoyable so that we understand ourselves. There's something your husband mentioned which I don't want you to mention again and again. And uh, when I see you in the office, I want you to say a big sorry for mentioning it, not here. That kind of, it's common among men. When you want to talk, you say, I'm the one who sent my wife to school. What does that kind of language mean? If you can send somebody, we give charity, we, we, give, we give many people, we send people to school. Your wife, if you say this woman, to school from university from primary school to university or to become a professor and then later become your wife is that not a, a, a real grace a real privilege why should we now begin to measure that does it mean now you send her to school it should be your servant not your wife so that kind of language is common among men or Uh, you, you, you women who say, I'm the one who sent the man to school, because it's also common. Women will say, yes, I sent him to school, from the university to this, PhD professor, I sent him to overseas, but later we marry. What do you mean? You mean it should turn to your servant? Once love has come, it has come. It's a rare privilege for you to even send somebody to school, to contribute to the 